hello and welcome to my channel learn and grow i used to come up with a functions tutorial on ms excel now here i am going to discuss the counting function how to use it in ms excel the counting function is an excel function that is being used in to count the number of cells that in a range it meets the single condition or the criteria the counting function can be used on the num dates numbers and the text as well and it also supports the wild cards users the criteria that can be used we can use the logical operators here in the function that is greater than less than not equal to or equal to operator the counting function syntax it's basically simple it is a range and the criteria the range that is a range of cells to count based on criteria and the criteria that you want to include so that the only the cells that meets the criteria will be counted now let us try to see with some examples which we'll see later on for you and the QR code now in the wild card users we can uh, count the number of cells that contains only one character maybe two character maybe more than that we can specify and any other special characters that can also be included in the same now let us try to understand on these things with some examples in our excel workbook now i am here in my excel workbook here i can see that a database which contains the number of tables who are studying in the section a b c etc and with their roll numbers and the marks they got in different subjects math chemistry and physics now if i want to count the number of persons who got marks greater than 70 how can i do that so let us use the count function and typing count if first bracket then the range you have to select that is a let us say this maths the marks in the top 10 in the marks and condition we have to put that is greater than the logical operator 71 so then press enter so only two people for the marks greater than 70 here this one and the this one now in another subject also we can do the same thing that is count please and we have to select the range then add the, the condition in the first quote 70 close and the second bracket so only three people that is one this another this one this three people got marks greater than 70 in the chemistry also we will do the same thing count if we have to choose the select for the range range we have selected e3 to e7 then we have to put the condition and the criteria greater than 70 and we have to quote and then second bracket press enter only one person that is 71 now if i want to know the how many are persons are studying in section a then we have to apply this counting function on text these are all the the text a b c is a text so you can use count if it is already appearing here and i'll just have to select this one and you have to select the range this range now for it put the condition and that equal to if this equal to a that is such studying in section a close bracket and then press enter Now we are there. One, two, three. Similarly, we can copy this formula. But before that, we have to first uh, fix the range of this by pressing F4. Then again F4. Here also pressing F4. Again F4. Press Enter. Then we have to Control C. Then we have to put Control V. Here also in Control V. Press Escape. Now here we have to. Make little changes. That is, instead of A, it should be studying in section B. That is, the number of persons who are studying in section B. Again, for studying in section C, we have to change this A to C to know how many of them are studying in section C. So only one. B also one. So we have seen the application on it on the text. Now let us see how it can apply it on uh, dates. The same counting function. We have to. We have a database here that contains the different dates, 
and the quantity sold on different dates and the product category and now we have to know that how many uh, products are, say, are sold that are after 11 or we have to count the dates how many number of dates are greater than 11 September 2016 so you can use the counting function they are also equal to count if now here I am going to use the count if the dates just we have to uh, select the range first and here I am placing the range and then we have to put the condition that is and the logical operator sorry and the logical operator have to put greater than close and then we have to put the concatenation operator date function I am going to use date with the year that is 2016 and the month September of 09 and day which is 11 September the date function has been used here and you have to close the bracket and then put then press enter so how many of them dates are greater than 11 september 2016 we are seeing that this one 11 september 2017 and this one and that this one so four dates are greater than 11 september 2016 we have used the date function now another example you will see here there is a count how many dates are between two specific dates now here now we can supply the uh, first date here let us say i'm supplying first january 2015 okay as a first date and the second date is 31st sorry 31st december 2018 now these two dates i want to know that how many dates are between these two dates that are appearing on this list so here we can use the two counting functions first for we have to count the sales which are uh, dates greater than or equal to this date then it will show the rest of the dates that are greater than this one under this range another date we have to another counting function we have to use we have to count the number of dates which are greater than 13 december 31st december 2018 let us try to understand this one equal to count if first you have to collect the dates which are greater than this date first date so you have to select the range first now i have to put the condition greater than equal to and again we have to use the concatenation function because we will be referring to a cell and we will be collecting the cell value that is this date okay then Okay, we are using the close closing bracket again another counting function and we will be selecting the same range here and putting the condition logical operator here greater than and the date for that first you have to use the concatenation operator selecting the cell second date and have to put the closing bracket then press enter now it is showing that there are five such dates which are in between these two dates now let us verify this one that is 1st january 2015 1 uh, 2 and uh, 3 and 4 and 5 so these five dates are between these two dates okay we have seen the seen the use of counting function on the num on the dates how you can apply it on dates now on the text functions that is a uh, on the text how you can apply it the counting function let us see now count if the text if the text starts with the letter a so equal to count if now this range you have to select first now if it starts with the letter a then you have to put the condition here first we have to select a if we starting with a and then rest of the things can be anything so we are putting a wild card and choosing the score closing quote and the second bracket press enter so one this one another is this one so it is not kit sensitive account all the sales having two characters only 
so we are just using the count if function here again count if range first we have to select and we want to count the cells which are having two characters so we are putting two question marks here one two okay then closing bracket and press enter two characters how many are there one and two two characters that is only two cells are having two characters I count all the cells that contains sg again we have to use the count if function here count if first range we have to select then we have to put the conditions that is starting with anything but it must contain sg and it can end with anything that is putting the asterisk mark there okay then press enter so we are getting the cell range is the same first quote and then putting start sign at the end also you have to put the start sign to end up anything so only two sets two such cells are there that is first one this one and that is this one and there are no other cells now if there is any special special character in between i want to connect or the uh, count the number of cells which are having this special characters again we can do it by the use of count if function count if first range you have to select and then comma we have to put the same condition it can start with anything and putting out the special character in between sorry you have to put the slash then it can end with anything that is again we have to put the star mark quote and then we have to put the closing bracket then press enter so one such cells are there so in this way you can use the count if functions on the dates on the numbers and on text also so you have seen applications and we can use it in various ways in various fields okay that's all for today thanks for watching